All right, guys, uh, here we go. Finally made it. It is like super late right now, but found my campsite and I am like ready to go. This is late season rifle bull tag. This is what I got. So it's going to be a grind. It's going to be a lot of work. These animals are not looking to move around. They're going to be bedded in. They're going to be resting. They're just going to be tough. I mean, they've been chased for the past three months. They've already been through the rut. So it's going to be tough, but that's all right. I'm ready for it. I'm excited. <sighs> Main goal, get meat in the fridge. That's what I want. So, you know, and if that doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. I'm going to gain a lot of experience from this, uh, this hunt and I'll be even more prepared for the next one. So, um, uh, I'm going solo pretty much. The family will be here for the first few days, but I'll be by myself and uh, I'll have the truck, expedition, the tent. So I may do some overlanding, I don't know yet. Keeping all the strategy open, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, comment below and uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, uh, we got our uh, first morning. Uh, last night was pretty wild. <laughs> All my spots I wanted to go to were already taken up, so that was kind of sucky. And then driving through with all the lights on, I already saw my first two elk. Two decent sized bulls just hanging out in this, in this opening. Um, yeah, so didn't really find spots to sleep last night till probably like one. It was like really crappy. Um, and it was freezing cold, obviously. And uh, yes, I mean, but I mean, I, I fell asleep pretty pretty quick, so I was excited. I mean, seeing those two bull elk right there just standing there was amazing. Definitely encouraging. Um, we did some scouting this morning, some hiking, driving around, and heading back to the new campsite I found. These aspen trees. Um, Cassie and the girls, and then her mom and stepdad are gonna meet me there. So, go back, set up camp, have some Thanksgiving, and let's get this hunt started tomorrow morning. Are you level? Are you level? Level, level. Just like that. In the holes. Stop eating everything in the forest. Shotgun. Did you figure out if the hose that you bought attaches to the stove? Ashton, what are you gonna have? I'm gonna have turkey, the marshmallows with mashed potatoes, and then mashed potatoes. I'm having stuffing, mashed potatoes, turkey, and a roll, and this. I'm having everything. Yummy. All right, you want me to put food on? Wait, except for this and this. I'm just gonna have stuffing, turkey, and that. Can you get your hands off Thanksgiving pilgrim style. Ashton, do you want some potatoes? Girls, come down. All right, good morning. <laughs> this is it. The moment has arrived. We have opening the opening morning. Um, <sighs> definitely couldn't sleep last night. Um, you know, there's just a lot of different thoughts, strategy. Um, you know, what I'm gonna do? Just walking through the process multiple times in my head, but. Uh, first elk tag opening morning gonna get out there get to my spot where I saw those two bulls uh, yesterday so maybe they're still around maybe somebody else is we'll see what happens 
Here we go. So with 37s now, our line is pretty much just stay on the road. <laughs> this thing is amazing. Love having these 37s. This road is terrible, but it's cruising right along. All right, so this is our little campsite. Um, obviously it's just me now, so I've got the truck that I've been taking out every day to go to my spots to go hunt. And what I've developed is kind of a cool little system where I can back into the same spot every night and also have a level tent. So instead of using blocks, I dug those holes out of the ground a little bit and it gives me a spot to back into. I know I'm in the same spot every night and I'm also level, like it's completely level. So uh, and obviously on that side, no holes, but so it's high on this side. So these two holes in back in and then I can hook the annex up so all it takes is sliding the annex into the groove on the tent after I take that off and I'm pretty much good to go I do have to zip it up zip the sides up uh, box it in and I also stake it down so I have to unstake it at night to or in the morning, I'm sorry, in the morning to put it back on. So kind of what I've been doing is waking up, ripping everything apart, and I'm just putting the bag on with straps. I'm not zipping the bag up. So you guys can see it's not zipped. I've just got the straps going over the top and that makes it pretty quick. Yeah, you can kind of see. Um, you know, it hasn't gotten dusty. I mean, I've been driving on every single dirt road, so no real dust on the tent, but it makes for a super quick setup tear down, not gonna zip that bag on, just using the straps. So yeah, um, but myself, like I said, so I gotta have the annex up because that's the best way for my heater to work. We got the, we got the uh, buddy heater. I just run it on medium, um, haven't had to use high, just medium, and it's kept, it's kept me super toasty. Like for whatever reason, with this annex on the tent, that tent just gets super hot. So, I mean, it's getting down to the high teens at night, um, and I'm like perfectly warm. So, it's kind of a cool, you know, base camp setup best I could conjure up so I can have you know a place to come back at night and still be mobile um, to go to my spots to go hunt during the day so yeah it's a good time Been rough. It's been almost impossible. So those two bulls the first night, 
and that's it. Not even the first night, night before. Opening morning. Well, I'm coming off the mountain. Um, just not seeing what I'm looking for, unfortunately, up here. And it's getting hard to breathe. <coughs> so, I'm gonna head on down. Um, yeah, there's not much cooking. I've seen some some trails, some some signs, but haven't seen a live breathing fur animal yet in the past five days. So, I'm gonna head on down, uh, regroup, and uh, figure out what I'm gonna do. Freaking trails, ice, slippery, and my shoes have zero tread left. Yeah, it's like jet skis going down this thing. I bought these shoes in the summer to train with. You ready for this? And I wore the tread out. Oh well. Hopefully I don't kill myself. No, they're buried in there. No, they're tucked away. There's no way to get in there. Yeah, a lot of learning lessons in this this hunt. You know, I definitely picked the hardest one with the late season elk. But, you know, I tried all the tricks in the bag. You know, there's a lot of hunters out here. I'm not complaining. You know, it's part of the deal. You just gotta make your strategy off that. I just don't have the experience to capitalize on that. <laughs> I mean, when you're hiking, I'm hiking up a hill to go glass, and I'm up there at an hour before sun up. And I'm like halfway up to the top, and just out of nowhere, side by side, comes ripping up the hill. No, there's no road, there's no trail. They're just going. It takes them about a minute. Get up the mountain or hill, and they said I'm glossing. <laughs> I mean, what, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, then you find the good glossing spots, and uh, you know, I'm just I'm not experienced enough to know how to deal with that because there's people set up every 500 yards, so you know, it's a rifle hunt, it's a lot of congestion, but. I'm assuming they're all in there for a reason. Alright, last uh, morning. Last opportunity, see what we can find. Um, I did a little bit, it's not too, not too far, but still nothing. Not a freaking nothing. <laughs> Just crazy. Um, yeah, so. Uh, trying to find a good glassing spot. It's a pretty good kill because of my this way in this direction. So I can see up there. Sorry, the sun's terrible. Yeah, we'll glass up there and the last opportunity. I think these animals are just too smart. I mean, I've done my, my scouting out here, my research all summer and Always saw animals. Every time I came out, always saw animals. Even on our way out here, you know, they hit that first shot, they are gone. There's just some nasty mountains out here with deep, deep forests and foliage. But, oh well, that's hunting. <sighs> yeah, so hunting. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Uh, fortunately, was not successful this year. Um, a little disappointing not seeing a single animal, not getting any real opportunities, but that's hunting. You know, this is a very tough hunt. I knew that going into it. And uh, 
you know, just a lot of learning opportunity. So not giving up. Um, this is my first year going after an elk, so I'll for sure be back out next year. And uh, yeah, just want to thank my buddy Mike. Give me a lot of good stuff. You got me into this, and I uh, wouldn't be here without him. And then thank you to my family as well for an awesome Thanksgiving out in the woods. Appreciate you guys being out here while you could. And then, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, catch you next time.